Hey, what's up everybody? It's Angie and as you can tell by the title, today's video is all about shoes that I have that I have never worn or I rarely wear. These babies right here were gifted to me by my cousin. They are by the brand Gianni Bini, B-I-N-I. -I. I believe they sell this brand at Dillard's. I do know that I've seen it in a store and I do have a purse by them but of course I did not get it from the actual store I got it from a thrift store so I do believe that they sell these um, particular shoes or that brand at Dillard's so I don't know the price of them but they are size 8 medium which is not my normal size but I love them so much they're cute I've had these for a very long time they're by the brand called Cupid Q-U-P-I-D it's a size seven and a half and it's a coral color I want to say that I may have paid $5 for them. Usually none of my shoes I pay over anything over $10. So I'm pretty sure these were uh, about $5. And I believe I may have gotten them from Rainbow or maybe Shunami. I'm thinking Shunami, which is a local store in New Orleans. This shoe, this particular shoe is a wedge that I have worn a few times, but um, I have not worn them as much as I would like. I really like them. They're by the brand called C Labelle, L-A-B-E-L. -E the style is KC1 and it's a size six and a half. And I paid less than $10 for these shoes. I usually buy shoes from this particular store, which is Shoebox slash Tsunami. You buy one, get one half off. So $9, you pay $4.99 for the second pair. These beautiful babies were gifted to me for a birthday one year. These are Calvin Klein shoes. The box said that the shoes were $69. It's a size 7 medium. Black is one of my favorite color shoes, but they are so comfortable. I have worn these a few times to, ch times to church, but not really anywhere else. So yeah, I love them though. They're really comfortable. These were a steal. It's by the brand name Cupid, Q-U-P-I-D, and they are a size 7. I got these shoes for, I want to say it was either $3 or $1 at City Trends. And you can always go to the clearance rack at City Trends and find a great steal like these particular shoes. You see the platform it has on top of a wedge heel, so they're very comfortable. You don't have to worry about your feet hurting in these shoes, and I have not worn these shoes out. Open toe heels are next. I want to say that I ordered these shoes from gojane.com. They, uh, the box that they came in are by the brand mydeliciousshoes.com. The style is likely S and it's a size six and a half. I love these shoes, but they are not comfortable at all. But they're so cute though. These shoes are another pair of shoes that I got from the store, Shunami, and they were part of a package deal, buy one, get one 50% off. But I've had them for so long that the side of the shoe, when I started to buckle them, the fabric is coming off. I've never worn these shoes, and um, I may have worn them once, but I, I, I would have worn them more, but I just, I rarely go anywhere. <laughs> Now on to the Pito Hills. If you saw my last haul, I got these shoes for $1 at City Trends. And they are by the brand called M&L Beverly Hills. And it is a size 6.5. They were $1. So anything else after that didn't really matter to me. They were $1. I could not leave them in a store. That would just be... It would not be right, you know. But I love them. That olive green color is so perfect. They're comfortable from what I can tell. And they're cute. Now these shoes are by Rue 21. I got them from Rue 21 and I want to say that they were either three or five dollars and it is a size mm, seven, eight. It's a medium. Uh, Rue 21 shoes come in small, medium, or large and this is a medium seven, eight.
pumps. Pump, pump it up. My niece gave me these shoes. They are by the brand Artistry Pavilion, and it's a size 39. They are a little bit big for me. I have never worn them. They have such a high platform, but they're really cute. You can't go wrong with an animal print shoe, especially like for maybe a photo shoot or something. You don't necessarily have to wear them out, but they're cute. I love the way they look uh, against my skin tone. They're really, really cute. They could potentially be comfortable, but I don't know. I've never worn them. Now these sparkly babies right here, I wore them almost 10 years ago for a birthday party that I had. It was an all white party and this was my sparkle or my bling that I wanted to add to the look. They were gifted to me, so I'm not sure how much they cost, but they are by Posh. The style is Luxor, L-U-X-O-R, and it's a size 7. But they're really, really cute and sparkly. I love them so much, but I only wore them that one time for the party, and I did not keep them on very long. Now to the minimalist heels. These, uh, another favorite of mine, Forever 21. I paid $1 for these shoes. They were on the clearance rack and it was like a part of a one, three, five dollar sale or something like that where they were getting rid of all of the shoes. I found one and then I was not going to stop until I found the match and I did and they were one dollar and I love them so much but I've never worn them and I don't know when I'll be able to wear them and they're a size seven or seven and a half I believe. And these babies, oh my goodness, I love them. These are absolutely my favorite pair of shoes that I've never worn. I got these from Shunami. They were $9.99 and I absolutely love them. And I cannot wait to pair them with the sexiest dress I've ever seen. The style is Frasier 40X and it's a size 6.5. Thank you all for watching.